Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, October 10th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part two of this news bulletin. And my website is ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. Uh, also, on YouTube, you can check out my YouTube channel with all my videos that I've ever made in the past couple of years. It's ddarko2012. That's ddarko2012. And I have a poll up here. Do you believe the Occupy Wall Street protests will succeed in convincing government and Wall Street officials to meet their demands, whatever they may be? So far, 50 percent, uh, three voters said no. And then 33 percent, two voters say maybe. And then uh, we have one saying not sure. So you can go in there and check that out. You can rate it funny, interesting, cool. Also, you can uh, share some of these videos if you'd like. Um, besides that, uh, I have a news archive from the past couple of years of news videos I've produced. Okay, so the last video, I was a little um, unsure whether that was going to be made or not, and it did upload successfully. It did record successfully, so that was good. Um, okay, so now this, this video, I've had a lot of um, eugenics-type articles that I've been wanting to cover for, like I said, the past three weeks or so, and I just, there were some, there was a lot of news that got dumped, and it will never be covered, but at the same time, there's other news that will, so... Without further ado, we have this one. Entrepreneurs uh, scramble to create best bed bug buster. And it says here uh, that inventors will try just about anything to kill bed bugs. Those nasty reddish brown blood sucking parasites are the worst nightmare of many hotel guests. So, and it goes in there and it says that uh, Bordeaux, I guess this is an individual from Flynn Pest Control. So the big uh, bed bug business is booming, went uh, virtually from zero percent uh less than five years ago five years ago to about 20 percent of what the company brings in today so and i wonder why this is i i mean i don't know maybe it's climate change maybe it's the climate change that they're doing with all the chemicals that they're spraying in the in the air uh every day around the entire planet i don't know maybe that should be taken into consideration but nonetheless uh these uh, uh I guess you can call them news agencies, or I, I don't really like even calling them that because they, they don't really rate to be called news. They're just straight bullshit propaganda, and so they're never going to include the fact that they're spraying you like a pest. But speaking of pests, pesticides give rise to mutant bed bugs, so bed bugs are coming back with a vengeance, and a new study of out of Ohio State University says that pesticides and insecticides are at least jointly responsible for spawning a new breed of mutant bed bugs that is genetically resistant to the very chemicals commonly used to eradicate it. So you can go in there and check that out from Natural News. Great article and a great website as well with uh, Mike Adams there. Uh, bed bug incesticides causing sickness, officials warn. And uh, says here, incidents are rare, but consumers need to be informed and careful. So look at that. See? Problem reacts to solution. You go to the solution and it ends up being worse than... Uh, then the cause, right? Kind of with cancer and getting radiated and chemo and all that. And it says here, bed bug infestations are bad enough, but now a report says that more than 100 Americans have become sickened from exposure to the insecticides used to eliminate these pests. And of course, what? It's the one that's causing them. We just covered that. Saw palmetto, and we're going to get into these, uh, into more double speak here. You're going to kind of see it, and that's what uh, I like to do here at GGN. Just kind of cover articles and then um, call out the bullshit right when I see it. And so here we have saw palmetto, which has been used for uh, decades, if not centuries, especially by uh, Asians and uh, different types of um, natural healers. Uh, use salt palmetto for the prostate gland. But it says here, salt palmetto, of course, is Bloomberg, which promotes uh, uh, Pfizer and Baxter Bayer and all those death complexes, eugenics uh, companies known as, quote, healthcare. I call it death care. Like the doublespeak, salt palmetto and fruit does not ease enlarge prostate. New research finds and said they had no greater relief from incontinence or difficulty urination than those given a placebo. And then we move on here, and it says alpha radiation. So this is their solution. So go ahead and try it out. Get radiated and get instead. Alpha radiation treats prostate cancers. So I know we're talking about, you know, just regular prostate, swollen prostate problems and prostate cancers, two different things. But I'm just trying to show you, draw parallels of what these uh, uh, groups' solutions are. That, you know, they are the accepted uh, authorities in this, in the cancer business. And... Um, 
the the death business right the eugenics business basically and so you go to them you know you go to them for help um, and they end up hurting you worse it says here more uh, scans are recommended for unborn twins and triplets so women expected twins or triplets should be offered closer monitoring including extra scans talking about uh, uh, scans I believe it is uh, ultrasound scans but I haven't really seen the word ultrasound in this article but like a lot of other things when you go across um, the ocean across the Atlantic uh, words are included and excluded and they're different so either way um, says here the guidance says the women expecting twins or triplets should receive at least six scans and sometimes as many as 11 so what is my point health and pregnancy per prenatal ultrasound as here prenatal ultrasound test uses high frequency sound waves high frequency sound waves and um, goes is transmitted through the abdomen and uh, you know this sounds great and everything but I don't think it's that healthy to be pointing this stuff um, we're uh, a body you know we're a little body we're a little, a little person is living and gonna be coming into life or uh, but either way and of course you can go without ultrasounds but this is the thing and it hopefully that's what they're talking about in that article the british article but we have navy sonar kills orcas and other whales i've already knew about this but i thought i'd just include it in there to give you uh the bigger picture biologists got alarmed when the killer whales of washington state's puget sound started disappearing using high technology super sensitive microphones uh they've been eavesdropping on the region's resident killer whales and it says here, years of research revealed a disturbing trend. Healthy adult orcas were disappearing without precise reason when uh, the equipment was blasted by a cacophony from a passing Navy vessel. Scientists uh, knew they started to unveil the puzzle. Sorry about that. It says here that uh, whales and dolphins rely on ultrasounds to investigate their environment. In other words, they use it to navigate like, kind of like a beacon or uh, the magnetic field like birds. And the Navy sonar could have, could have disturbed a sense of orientation. Well, there's a good chance that it does. Uh, and just like all of... Um, the manipulation of the electric man, electromagnetic field that's going on in the sky in the atmosphere with harp type weapons and and stuff like that um yeah i i would imagine that it's going to have an effect on birds navigation and uh the life of birds you know birds falling out of the sky like we saw um before in groups now that's when it happens in groups like that, it usually means that there's a lot of pulsing, a lot of energy getting pulsed out there. And although um, the big superior uh, humans, you know, the top of the food chain, because we're so uh, superior to everything else, uh, may live, it, it does harm you. So you're not invincible. It does go, if it goes and it's killing birds and it's killing trees, like the Wi-Fi towers in the article I covered, uh, the Wi-Fi towers are killing trees as well, then... Um, I, me personally, I wouldn't like it because I don't even freaking consent to it, but you can just kind of go on a limb and assume that it's not going to be good for you, right? So, okay, uh, I think I covered that enough. Listeria cases likely to rise uh, through October, says the officials. Well, they're saying that because, well, they plan it to uh, uh, keep going, just like the bed bugs. Listeria does not grow on cantaloupes. Why the deadliest food outbreak of the decade is not, or yet, is another food scare campaign. So you go in there and talk, uh, talks about, like, uh, comparing it to salmonella and that. But it says here... Um, that disease outbreak associated with the U.S. food supply have become all too common occurrences these days with at least six major outbreaks having been reported just this year alone and with most recent listeria outbreaks affecting Colorado source cantaloupes. 13 people and 70 others have been sickened. The media once again is, is working against the public into a frenzy about food safety. So I'm going to keep moving for time, so you can go in there and check that out. Um, most, if not all, the links will be posted in YouTube's video description. Uh, most of my audience knows that, but if you're a new listener, go into YouTube's video, and you can uh, put show, and you'll see all the headlines and links in the order that they're being covered right now. It says here, the big C, the big cancer treatment is increasingly unaffordable. Now, like I said, it's a business, right? But it's a costly business. And uh, this is for middle management. This is for this is not for the hoople heads or the sheeple. This is uh, for the middle management, the politicians, the, the Steve Jobs, um, 
um, who else? The creators of Google. Uh, these are for the you know the judges. These are this is for people that can afford it. See if you make it to the top of this uh, little Luciferian type order, um, you're gonna inherently have a lot of the devils trade cash you know what i mean you're gonna have a lot of money and not saying that you're evil you're luciferian if you have a lot of money god bless you if you do but at the same time it seems to be that the people with the most money tend to just go along with this evil evil system so they're going to be taken care of but then again they're going to be going to get radiated so you can do it like the indigenous and that's what i'm doing i'm just i'm taking my b17 my latrine my apricot seed powder along with other things like chia seeds and uh, uh other things to fight cancer so i'm trying to do it naturally and so far i think i'm doing okay um but we'll have to see you know but that's what i'm getting at you can so as far as solutions you can as a poor person you can actually afford to fight cancer so i i, I don't want to mislead you there on that point but in the minds of most people in the masses th the only cure is to again go to the source that's causing it so go to the death complex to get help for something that they helped create so I think you get my point right there. Um, I'm not going to go on to it, uh, go into it too much further. BPA exposure uh, before birth linked to breast cancer, and um, of course, you know I've covered. I didn't cover it because uh, it. I didn't get a chance to record. It's having so many problems, but there's actually something else in these uh, BPA free bottles that is still toxic. So. If I can remember that, and next time I will try to include that. Uh, medical pot users fuming over ATF's gun sale ban. So it says you can have your gun or you can have your medical marijuana, but the administration Obama regime now says you can't have both. So go in there and check that out. Uh, we're going to move on here to activist post. Fukushima update, radiation and sickness spreading. It says there is much news regarding the spread of radiation from the destroyed Fukushima reactors. And it says here that radiation mats from Japanese and Ministry of Education report that uh, a workers are, that is getting out of Japan before spring. And uh, you can go in there and check that out. I thought it was going to be written differently. But either way, U.S. secretly asked Japan to help dump nuclear reactors. That's right. Then more countries to receive vaccination funds. So 37 more developing countries to receive uh, introduce vaccines against diarrhea and pneumonia. Then we have uh, this right here, a door-to-door -door vaccination. School officials go door to door hunting down unvaccinated students. Go there and check that out. There's actually a video, but I didn't want to mess with it because I just wanted to make this. <laughs> I just want to get it done, get it out there. You can go in there and check that video out. Link will be posted. Gavi Alliance launches new funding uh, for vaccine scheme and it says here that public private global health partnership. Ooh, that sounds so authoritative, so official, but you can go in there and check that out. Um, Finland vows care for narcolepsy kids who had swine flu shot. And I warn people not to take it cdc now calling u.s households and demanding child immunization records as part of a vaccine surveillance and tracking program next up the have none and the have too many fertility rate mass hidden class divide time bomb talking about the average american woman has 2.1 children seemingly healthy fertility rate but the misleading figure is this uh, disguising a growing fertility class divide in the united states of course this is social engineering talking about uh, births among poor women now dwarf the fertility rates of wealthier women so again that's that's the point. FDA is still concerned about contraceptives, and it's by what? Developing blood clots and increasing the blood risk. Dislike belts. That's why I wear suspenders. If, I don't know what to say about condoms and that, guys, but, I mean, those things choke your, your stuff, man. I, I don't know. Just like everything else, it ends up sterilizing you. That's what I think. Everything, the pill at all, sterilizes you. That's, you go in for them for help, and then they hurt you. They sterilize you. That's the whole point is sterilizing the slaves so they can't procreate. India, Kerala churches reward big families and instead begin offering incentives to couples who produce more than uh, uh, more children. So it's here, right to private life at risk and plan to store DNA of innocent people. Then we have transgender Australians win recognition as man. So uh, good job. So here, mother's job can increase danger of asthma for unborn baby. And it could also cause a lot of uh, family problems as well when someone's not in the home with the children. 
and they're away at the re-education camps. Washington mom who tried to sell a baby uh, was set free. Colorado, Colorado boy 13 pleads guilty to killing parents. Then Oregon teen loaded shotgun before shooting friends. This is mind control, guys. Two adults dead in murder-suicide at California school. Two murder-suicides strike same Pennsylvania family. Washington state couple charged an adopted daughter's death. Husband of missing Utah mom not getting kids back. Then Mexico City considers fixed-term marriage license. Then government considers per parenting classes for all. And then we have so more vampire news. Uh, she actually killed her boyfriend. She thinks she's a werewolf vampire, just like this woman who bit an old man, just like this woman in Mexico. Thank you.